Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Vikas Kohli and today I'm going to talk to you about single ventricle. So heart has two pumps, you know the pump on the right side pushes the blue blood out into the lungs and the pump on the left side pushes the red blood out into the whole body. The uh, red and blue blood are separated by a wall in between which is called the ventricular septum. If there's a ho hole in the ventricular septum, we call it a VSD. That's the commonest hole in the heart. We've talked about it earlier in different talks. But today we are going to focus that if there is only one pump, there are no two separate pumps. So the red blood also comes into it. The blue blood also comes into it and it goes to the two tubes outside. One tube carries the blood to the lungs. The other tube carries the blood into the whole body. When it gets mixed, you're going to get mixed blood into the whole body, not pure red blood into the whole body. But if this is going to happen, the pressure in the lungs is going to be high. So in a normal heart, the right pump has a pressure of about 25 by to 30. Left heart or left pump has a pressure of 100. These babies very urgently in the first two months of life need to have their lung pressures brought back to normal. The simplest way to do this is by a pulmonary artery banding. A simple operation whereby a band is put around the pulmonary artery and the lumen which was this big becomes narrow. So the amount of blood going into the lungs reduces to normal and the baby's oxygen levels will also change with that and the baby will be able to gain weight, thrive well and behave normally and the most important of all for lifetime the lung pressures would remain normal. So the biggest problem with single ventricle in this category where lung pressures are high at birth is we need to bring it to normal or else we have lost the battle for good. So the first step in single ventricle with high lung pressures or increased pulmonary blood flow is bring the lung pressures to normal by PA banding. This is one category. The other category is when there is a single ventricle and the blood is getting mixed into the ventricle but now the lungs already naturally have an obstruction therefore the blood is not going to the lungs and enough blood is going into the body but suppose the obstruction is just appropriate then you don't need to do banding but if the obstruction is too much or there is no source of blood from the ventricles into the lungs in that case the oxygen levels may be very low this is the second category of single ventricle where babies have very low oxygen level at birth and they need a what is called PDA stenting at birth something that can be done only in the first 10 to 14 days of life and if it is done it is a non-surgical procedure by which we can supply more blood into the lungs in a secure manner and baby without surgery and baby can go home in the next few days after birth. So this is the second category where the oxygen level is low and if the oxygen level is low we do either PDA stenting if it's too low or if it is near normal as expected around 80 to 85 percent we leave the baby as such. This is the decreased pulmonary blood flow group of single ventricle. After this the first step in the two groups the, there is a common pathway. Now still what is happening after we have done PA banding or we've done a shunt or a stent, the baby's oxygen and deoxygenated blood are still getting mixed in the ventricle. So the baby would, as the baby grows, the oxygen levels would tend to drop and in that case we have to separate part by part. That is upper body half first, lower body half later, the blue blood from the red blood. Since there is no pump for the blue blood, we obviously need the pump for the whole body which will maintain our blood pressure. So we need to take the upper half blue blood tube out of the heart and put it straight into the lungs. This operation is called Glen operation. Generally, if the preparation in the neonatal period was very good with banding or shunting or stenting, this is a highly successful operation, success rate being almost 95-98%, short stay in hospital and child does beautifully well, results in oxygen saturation between 82-85% for the baby and the child continues to grow well. Now if you look at yourself versus the child, that is you as an adult, your majority of the body is lower half, only a small part is upper half. 
while in a baby or in a one to two year old child the upper and lower halves are almost equal so as the baby will grow beyond two years the lower half grows more 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 and that blue blood which is higher in quantity mixes with the red blood and therefore the oxygen levels keep dropping as the baby's lower half of body grows and that contributes more blue blood to the mixing of the two in the ventricle single ventricle and therefore we need to do the second stage at around three years of age or three and a half four years of age and that is the fontan operation whereby the blue blood from the lower half of body is removed from the ventricle and put straight into the lungs again this is a different operation as compared to glenn in glenn the success rate is very high in this also technology in the last 20 years has advanced to a point where we can give a success rate of almost 90 percent with good preparation good follow-up and good numbers to assess the operability of the patient we are able to replicate the results repeatedly and give the same outcome with newer technologies of surgery that is using an extra cardiac fontan and thereby the child continues to lead a nearly normal life with medication and a nearly normal physical activity mental activity and we have seen children at the age of 25 even women at the age of 35 who've undergone fontan have had children also and have actually joined jobs and are having a family and leading a productive life some of them even as executive senior executives in companies so i'd like to give you this very positive statement that single ventricle needs early assessment early appropriate management with a cardiologist and a cardiac surgical team which is used to taking care of your child or of such children and knows what matters to the ultimate outcome of 25 35 45 years of age you may say well what after that after that or by that time technology is going to advance very rapidly in the next several years five ten years whereby we will be implanting a pump in the ivc of a patient like this which would with this would be done transcatheter which would pump the blood into the lungs because currently with fontan and glenn there is no pump to pump the blood into the lungs so just from the groin here we would be able to put in a pump inside the ivc and that would push the blood into the lungs with a pumping effect and with almost like the contraction of a heart we anticipate these children to do very well and with advancing technology their life would continue to be better and well but as a child with fontan grows we need to make sure we are monitoring them very well at least three times a year we are checking their liver very well that needs detailed assessment so this is my suggestion to you a baby born today with single ventricle needs to be in experienced hands experienced team for the best possible outcomes thanking you for your attention